In a matter of just a few short days, Sam Bankman Free's net worth went from $16 billion to zero as his trading company Alameda and his cryptocurrency exchange FTX both filed for bankruptcy. And not only has SBF lost a significant amount of his fortune, but the scandal has led to many cryptocurrencies losing up to 80% of their value, wiping out what could be trillions of dollars of people's net worth pretty much overnight, all while destroying pretty much all trust in cryptocurrency. But as complicated as this whole thing seems, it's really not that complicated at all. This is a classic case of somebody borrowing money that doesn't belong to them without consent and losing it in the process, only to be found out and cause a run on the bank. But before we get into all the details, my name is Nolan Mathias, and if you are somebody who wants to thrive financially, this is the place for you. So go ahead, click that subscribe button, and at the end of it, if you like this video, click that like button so more people like you can see videos like this. Okay, so let's get into this in the shortest and simplest manner possible. Sam Bankman Fried, who is otherwise known as SBF, is the co-founder of cryptocurrency exchange FTX. He also owns another company called Alameda Research, which is his trading company. So what you have to understand here is he owns the exchange, the cryptocurrency exchange, and he owns basically a hedge fund that does trading and tries to profit off of cryptocurrencies. This is where the major conflict exists. So what would happen is consumers would come at one point up to a million consumers would come and they would put their cryptocurrencies onto the exchange with the expectation that FTX would hold the funds for them until they needed them. Now, this is no different than say having a real estate transaction where you have a bunch of money from the sale of a property. It goes into the trust fund at the lawyers and it is held there safely until it can be released to you or until you want it. But where everything goes wrong is when somebody dips into that trust fund and funds disappear because all of the funds that are in a trust fund are designated to specific individuals or specific entities. So if money were to get taken out of that trust fund, that money belongs to somebody. And if it isn't given to the people that it belongs to, then the money's no longer there and we have a problem. And in real estate and legal transactions, this becomes a major problem. In fact, there are many lawyers who have gone to jail for doing exactly this, taking money out of a trust fund and using it for purposes other than what it's meant for. Well, in the case of FTX, they aren't necessarily a trust fund, but their terms of service stated that any cryptocurrencies that were put into the exchange would not be lent to anybody. They would not be removed from the exchange. They would be there for whoever had placed them there to begin with. Now, there's a whole bunch of issues surrounding FTT and their own token that they could pretty much print out of thin air. And the fact that FTX's, the exchange's sister company, Alameda, had a significant amount of their assets in FTT, the cryptocurrency that FTT FTX created, which is problematic in its own right, considering that the two companies are related. And there's even further issues in the fact that consumers were incentivized to use the FTT token, which again was a token that FTX pretty much printed out of thin air and subsequently created a scenario where FTX seemed to be basically printing their own money, which is obviously problematic. Now, this relationship between Alameda and FTX and the fact that Alameda owned so much of the FTT token was reported by Coinbase on November 2nd. This led another cryptocurrency exchange, Binance, to suggest that they were going to sell up to $600 million worth of the token, given the perceived conflict of interest with Alameda owning so much of the FTT token. Now, this is where the problem started, because that led essentially to a run on the bank with many people trying to sell their FTT tokens, knowing that Binance was trying to get out as well. But guess what happened? The money wasn't there. The cryptocurrencies that they believed to be in safe storage had disappeared. And the reason why it turns out is because FTX had lent up to $10 billion worth of cryptocurrencies to their sister company, Alameda, even though this was against the terms of service and just morally incomprehensible. Now that revelation led to uncertainty with respect to the future of FTX, which led Binance to step in and offer to buy FTX in order to save it, knowing that they still had 600 billion worth of FTX's cryptocurrency that they would have to somehow offload. So rather than seeing FTX fail, they stepped in and decided that they were going to try to help and purchase the company. But upon doing some due diligence, they decided not to. Now, Binance has not said why they chose not to purchase FTX, but I can only imagine that it's because the cryptocurrencies that people believed to be in the exchange were no longer there. And seeing that they were no longer there and realizing the significant amount of liability that would come along with the purchase, they stepped away from their offer to purchase the company. Now, that led SBF to go out and try to find a whole bunch of funds. Obviously, that was not happening because at this point, FTX was toxic to pretty much every investor on the planet. No 
nobody in their right mind would put money into it, which led on November 11th, the company to file for bankruptcy. Now, as this was happening, another one to $2 billion in cryptocurrencies disappeared from the exchange. Some have suggested that this is due to foul play. Some have suggested that hackers took the funds. Regardless, another $2 billion were wiped out. So now as of November 13th, John J. Ray III, the guy who was responsible for dismantling Enron after it went bankrupt, has taken over FTX. And while I'm guessing given his history, you pretty much know where this story is headed.